Hey everybody, it's Robert and you're watching Sidestep Adventures. I'm out here with Mr. Dan and Mr. Scott. And now we have taken a road trip today. We're across the Chattahoochee River over in southern Russell County, Alabama. Uh, we're about what, five miles away from the Chattahoochee River. West and, of it, yeah. Yeah, west of it. And we are standing in an old uh, plantation cemetery right now. This is the uh, it looks like mostly the Howard family um, who, and Renfro's, and Renfro's uh, who built the Ahagi, is that? Ahagi. Ahagi plantation over here in Alabama. Now, we actually came over here for an estate sale and we got to tour through the old plantation house, which you guys will see a few clips of that. It's an amazing old house that dates back to 1840. cemetery back here is absolutely incredible so we're going to explore it and bring you guys with us there apparently are 34 known marked burials throughout here and a slave cemetery over on the other side of the fence over there so let's take a look this is in memory of ralph o howard born february 23rd, 1797, and died December 22nd, 1869. And I do believe, let me check, um, yeah, Ralph Owens Howard built this plantation between 1840 and 1842. And over here, on this side, it's in memory of Euphemia. Euphemia Howard. And she was born in 1807, May 12th, 1807, and died May 4th, 1890. And just an incredible obelisk here. Um, the upside down torches there and the original urn that went on top of it is actually back here. Um, I guess it fell off at some point. It's right there. So. Now that looks like something you see out there at the Mitchell. Yeah, it does. This is incredible. Which is, it's only about like seven miles down the road. Yeah. If that. This is uh, going to be the graves of Ralph and Euphemia. Um, here. And then there's, there's, a, there's a lot out here. This is in, in memory of John L. Calhoun, who was born in the Abbeville District of South Carolina, July 1800, and died in Crawford, Alabama, May 5th, 1849. This 
says I shall arise to judgment. And it says this tomb is erected by his wife, Hannah L. Calhoun, as a testament of love and affection. Say Bo Rabbit's been around here for a while. Serious bias here. Yeah, welcome to Alabama. To the memory of Ezekiel Calhoun, who was born July 28, 1811, and died August 5, 1847. This was erected by his brother, Robert, by his brothers, Robert and Patrick Calhoun. That's interesting. We don't usually see where they're, yeah. you know, giving credit for who put up the monument. Okay. Found one over here. It's another Calhoun. This is Robert yeah, Calhoun, Calhoun, so maybe the brother that yeah. put up that one. That's Robert Calhoun, man. Mm -hmm. There's a false crypt or box stream on the other room. And this one's marble. Or I just need to get those leaves off it. Yeah, in memory of Lewis Calhoun. Martin. Martin. Louis Calhoun Martin. Son of Anna Calhoun and Lyman Waddell Waddell Martin. Yeah, a little in there. And there's fire ants in there. Tell them what you're doing, Robert. Oh, I uh, knelt down. I put my knee right in the fire ant's nest. Cleaning that grave off, so I'm going to cover. I'm going to cover the fire ant for the moment. I think, I think I actually finally got them off. No. There's always one. 
Yeah. <laughs> Y'all see any more? I don't see any more. The one right there on his pocket. Uh, back here on. Right there. In his back pocket. Oh, back, back pocket right there. Uh, and another one. I think if there's one on the side of your leg. Eh? Alright, we've been bit by about 30 now. <laughs> so <laughs> I mean alright. So this is in memory of William J. Howard, who was born July 18, 1827, and died February 17, 1885. Over here is Thomas A. Howard, born June 23, 1861, and he died September 19th. 1886. Look at the back of these. Nothing on the back. Look how thick yeah. the stones are. And that's good. Right. There probably were a lot more of them like that in here. We're finding them on the ground. You know, yeah. broke off from the mounts. Well, someone cleared this out and, uh, I mean, or tried to do some clearing here, but threw a lot of the brush on top of the trays. Yeah. On a billow hole. Did you notice that each one of these family plots is separated by a little token? Sure enough. And well, it looks like there's a path that was made. Yeah, and the, the pathway coming in here is lined with this. Yeah. And the walkways, this is a walkway here lined with these also. And they look like just old common uh, pavers or what do you call them? Uh, flower bed. Uh, what do you call it? There's a name for this that you line things with. It's a little coping. It looks like the kind that you can still buy, but it's not. If you look at this, this is salt glazed. Oh yeah, yeah. this is a. Uh, it's it's very deep in the ground too. They're 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 pretty big. They're very wide. But see how small the sections are? Yeah. They're in little short sections. These are all made by a pottery company, and look, they've got. What do you call that on the front of it? Some kind of little invention. They're detailed. Yeah, they are. Very unusual to find that in a cemetery now. Yeah, I thought it was, uh, I'd assumed it was something more modern, but yeah. There you go. Pretty old. I don't see any loose ones with all yeah, these. They're so deep. They yeah. were, they were put the stakes. They're through the whole, the whole cemetery. Uh -huh. So I wonder what the uh, connection is between the Howards and the Calhouns. I mean, I guess family married. Well, they could have all lived under the same roof in that house. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a big yeah. house. <laughs> it's big enough for four families. Right. Watch out, there's a bunch of wires. You know, I see them. Ralph, Ralph Owen Howard. So this uh, which must be what, a son of that Ralph Owen Howard. Yeah, he's too young. Yeah, 1865. 1865. To 1941. Wow. A grandson. Yeah, grandson. Yeah. Hmm. That's the newest we've seen in here. That's the yeah most recent grave we've seen here. Yeah. Thank you. This one's fine because it has no name on here. But that little one there does. Oh, this little one right here. This is Ida Lou Calhoun, born April 12th, 1858, and died October 21st, 
1861. Little Ida Lou Calhoun. Someone slid it off of this. This is the foundation for it. See how crooked it is? Yeah. Our brother, Can you see that uh, Dan or Scott looking at it upside down. Yeah. Loose in it. Lieutenant Andrew Jackson Calhoun. What? Huh? Born. October 15th, Like it says, can you read? Uh, it says died from a wound. Okay, died from a wound. Received at the Battle of Chickamauga. Oh wow! Yep. The date. Uh, yeah. Chickamauga, Tennessee, T E N N, period. October 8th, 1863. I can't, see, I can't see the last number, 1860 something. Three. Three, okay. 1863. Wow. Doesn't, doesn't lift his unit, does it? I don't see it on there anywhere. That's a shame. I, I would be willing to bet that that slab goes on this. Yeah, unmarked concrete foundation. Hmm. There's another one up in there. Yeah, it's, it's covered up completely. Yeah. There's another something over there too. This one says sacred to the memory of Catherine Rockmore, who was born 24th February 1784 and died 27th July 1847. Yeah, 1847, yeah. aged 63 years, five months, and three days. Never Howard. Keep going. Little Busby. Move it. It looks like he's gonna hurt mommy. Yeah, he would. James P. Howard. Born December 18th. 1833 and died January 25th, 1904. Whew. Nothing else. He would have been of age to be in the Civil War, too. Yeah. But he lived to 1901, 1904. Yep. Yeah. I don't think we looked at this one. This is another one of those really thick monuments. 
Sheriff of Scott. Um, this is in memory of Robert N. Howard, born August 22, 1831, and died October 5, 1871. So these, um, as you mentioned earlier, I don't think they suffered from the Depression after the Civil War. What was raised there has got the weeping willow motif on it. Yep. It's probably long ago. In memory of Mary E. C., daughter of R. O. and Euphemia Howard Ralph Owen, died December 2nd, 1848, aged two years. And this is one of the thick ones again, but it's laying face down. I don't think we got it in us to get that up. I'm dusting this off like I think Robert is going to stand that up. I, I, I was going to say, Dan, you hold this and I'll, I'll get one fast. Let me get on it. might take all three of us. Get, get my cell phone out of the way. I can get my fingers under it. Oh, come on up! Oh, that's a beautiful stone. Yes, it is. In memory of Ella, daughter of R.O. And Euphemia Howard, born October 2nd, 1850, died November 15th, 1866. Bright, transient, chaste as morning dew, she sparkled, as morning dew she sparkled, was exhaled, and went to heaven. I thought of the name of this called Edgy. Yeah, what it's yeah. called now? Yeah. But uh, you can see the little indentions. It was made in a mold, I believe, or made in a mold and stamped. I don't know. But uh, that piece broke off of that piece there. But what are those about? Eight or ten inches per section. Mm -hmm. Eight yeah. or ten inches, yeah. And the whole place is lined with them. Yeah. Very unusual. It's such a shame that it's not restored. And we got two aisles. Uh -huh. Yeah. Coming there. down. There. Maybe it goes all the way to back. Maybe someday someone will appreciate it and fix it back the way it's supposed to be. This is George H. Renfro, born May 26, 1853 and died December 5th, 1889. There's a child right there. Charlie J. Renfro, born April 23rd, 1837, died 1852 Alfred Renfro born October 1813 and died August 1857 Interesting how early all of these days are I mean we've got all these that are pre-war um, a couple post-war over there and then one from 1941 that seems to be it yeah Rhonda Renfro born July 19th 1815 died January 28th 1889 infant child uh, yeah, infant children of T.B. 
and F.A. Howard. I bet there's something right in here. Yeah, I was going to say, it's all Daniel's on the here. Oh, yeah. Miss Jane Law Miles, 1832 to 1909. Hmm. Very impressive. Yes, it is. And peaceful. Yeah. And you can see the house. Straight back there and kind of gives an indication of how far how far this is not not very far behind the house all right everybody i hope you enjoy seeing this incredible sight um a real piece of history here that not too long ago i mean we can tell by all the brush that was cut down prior to us coming here this this place had been forgotten and uncared for for a while um lots of damage has happened out here with trees falling that sort of thing and uh, it looks like it was um very close to being a lost piece of history at one time and hopefully as dan said earlier um that uh someone will see the value in continuing to care for this place and make it better uh, so i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like share and subscribe and we'll see you next time